Supreme Court is a place of serious business. We have been following this week as judges and lawyers went through the petitions that seeks to challenge the win of William Ruto. However, there were many hilarious moments. These were the main seven. Number one, Professor Gedo Muigai ended the court that Orengo needed his ranch because he was heckling. Madam Chief Justice, may I request five minutes for the commission? Because we are the custodians of the form, the legitimate forms. Yes. And um, my learned friend, Mr. Orengo, needs his lunch now. He's heckling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll give, you th we'll give you five minutes. And, uh, the court will arise. Someone suggested that uh, my lady Honorable Rango means his lunch. I think we should take a break now. Number two, lawyer Willis Otieno burst into a nursery lyrics when he was explaining how the elections were. You remember the picky picky punky song? Listening. That is what I'm saying my grandmother calls Nairobi Karafu. And my niece Mimi calls Piki Piki Ponki Pakamielo Disco. Because he called both of them. He called both of them. And he was the only person who knew who the disco would land on. It could have been either of them. It could have been William Ruto. It could have been Ray Odinga. We've reduced it to Mimi's childhood game of Piki Piki Ponki Pacamelo uh, 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 Council Stop. again. Yes, my lord. I, I did uh, give you brotherly advice. Be careful. That, that language appears to be alien to this court. I'll be guided, my lord. I'll be guided. Number three. Willis Ocheno was literally sweating it out in court. The judges never failed to notice and commented on the same. I thank you very much for the opportunity to appear before you. Thank you for listening to me. And I thank Justice Swanjala today. He didn't respond when I did my monk. I donate my time back <laughs> to the course. Thank you. you also did not sweat, so we are okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Justice Smokin Wajara retorted the Bible story about Solomon and the two mothers to Kyoko Kilukumi, asking him whether he would accept to allow the baby to live or he would be the one asking the king to cut it into two. Uh, Mr. Kilukumi, you know, you cited King Solomon, uh, and this court treats holy scriptures very seriously. Uh, you came up with, uh, you say there is victory, because in King Solomon's story, the protagonists were distinguished mothers, but here you called them two gentlemen. But I also remember uh, that one of the mothers who turned out, or the mother claimants, who according to Solomonic wisdom could not have been the mother, is the one who was saying, cut the baby. But the other one, I remember, said, no, let her take, let her take the baby. Because what she was interested in is to preserve the baby. Would you be willing to advise? <laughs> I rest my case to this <laughs> Number five, lawyer Mahat Somane had a message to Azimio side that they should do what? Get over it and move on. Get over it? Yes, that's what he said. 
the late Justice Antonin Scalia, whenever he went to give lectures uh, uh, to all over the United States, everyone used to ask him about Bush v. Go, and he will, he, will, he will know whether someone is a Republican or a Democrat as to the question they will ask, and his answer will be, get over it, it's over. So to 50 plus 1, the court made its determination in 2013 on the votes cast and valid votes and the rejected ballots. Rejected are not votes. Votes is an authentication of preference. There's nothing called rejected votes. That's a rejected ballot. The court emphatically made that decision in 2013 and in 2017. To the petitioner's answer as to that, I think the simple answer will be get over it. With those few remarks, I yield the floor. <laughs> Number six. While lawyer James Orengo bragged that he attended Alliance High School that taught Shakespeare, his colleague Zerabanu Jamohamed stated that she attended a school that taught things fall apart. Listen in. Uh, my lady, the, uh, my lords, when I used to be at Alliance High School, every, every year, every year, Gidu, uh, Professor Gidu is very happy about me mentioning his school. When I used to be at Alliance High School, every year I took part in a school play. Most of the time there were Shakespearean plays. Macbeth, Julius Caesar, much about, uh, do about nothing. Closing, whilst we said, uh, we were told our petition is much ado about nothing, and we've, like I said, we've really been battered, but we shall soldier on. I will use Martin Luther King's words, because I suppose, unlike Professor Gidu Moigai and Mr. James Orengo, I went to a school where they didn't teach us Shakespeare, they taught us things fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> they went to the posh schools. <laughs> Finally, Justice Jockey Dumu seemed physically impressed by the narration of lawyer Willis Otieno as he narrated his drama and the bathroom story. And I tie it to the response, what Kamago was doing in the system. And my learned friend Samane said, he's a plumber. He's like a plumber maintaining the system. Let me say this. Once a plumber has fixed your bathroom, that plumber has no business being in your bathroom when you're showering. A plumber who is in your bathroom when you're showering after fixing your shower is no longer a plumber. He's a sexual offender and yes. should be reported. Let's stick to the... I'm to the guided. Home. I'm guided. 